How far do you go with mains conditioning for hi-fi? Would you go for something like the Isotec Sirius conditioning block with six sockets, an IEC connection at one end and nicely finished metal sides and a decent price? Or do you spend a bit more and go for a conditioner like the renowned Isotec Aquarius? Better at tackling mains noise, higher current output, but again with the six sockets and IEC connection to the mains. In this case, I'm using the Isotec Premier power cable to hook it up. Both of these units have surge and spike protection, as you'd expect. Or do you just stick with a good quality, standard, inexpensive mains block that is individually wired to keep the current up so your amplifiers get the electrical juice they need? Mains blocks that have no buzz bars and each socket is individually wired so you don't get that diminishing current effects down the chain. A lot of people say that this is all they need. Now we know that conditioners tackle two types of noise. Differential mode noise comes from all power supplies and common mode noise from radio frequency noise. It gets into your hi-fi and causes adverse sound quality effects. It's that harsh, grainy, hissy noise, you know, that you sometimes hear. Sometimes there are adverse effects with conditioners being a choke on the dynamic capability of amplifiers or smoothing out the sound too much. Now these effects are going to depend on loads of factors like your hi-fi, perception system, room acoustics, the dirtiness of the electrical environment and also how much current your amps need as to whether dynamics are stifled. So it's going to vary a lot and I can only really account what I experience in this test. But where I am there isn't much electrical noise. I've got a fridge and freezer, a roof ceiling heat exchange system which is always on but that's not a lot. Now, I tried these two conditioners against each other, obviously, but I've also previously tried the Isolate Mini Sub Axis conditioner and its bigger brother, the Isolate Integra. And if you go to my website, you can check both of these reviews out. Now, the first thing you're going to notice with a power conditioner like the Sirius is that you get a much deeper, more extended bass. It's also just got a nicer tone you remove that sibilant edginess that you get with music now these are the effects of removing the noise that we talked about in music remove that noise and it's hardly surprising that you tone up your audio so if you want these traits in music and you're thinking of power conditioners this is one of the major benefits you get on the downside with the Sirius, to be compliant with certification, I'm not sure whether this is the US, but it certainly applies in the UK, Isotec had to use a 10 amp fuse. The problem with this is that for the 13 amp main supply, it can, in some systems, slightly choke dynamics. This is obviously going to depend upon whether your amps need current but what you also have to bear in mind is do the positive effects of tone, improved bass, removed edginess in the music outstrip the qualities of any dynamic effects. Also, if your amps don't really need a lot of current, then you're not going to notice these effects. In my system, I'd say that these benefits outweigh the disbenefits in terms of using the Sirius with music like classical, jazz, acoustic, rock. So I'm not criticising the Sirius, but I'm just describing who it's for. I wouldn't give it back for these musical tastes, but I'm a huge electronic fiend and I've chosen a hi-fi with small speakers, fast electronics and a power conditioner needs to keep up. So if you need that extra speed, you may want to look at the next best option to the Sirius, the Isotec Aquarius. One, two, three, four.
what you notice when you first plug the Aquarius in is that having a higher maximum current output of 16 amps, it's better with dynamics and it's hardly surprising. The thing with the Aquarius is, is that this isn't like any other conditioner I've tried before. It stands out. And a reason it stands out is that it doesn't color the sound in any way. It just allows the hi-fi to sound as it normally does, but better. Against the similarly priced Isolate Integra, that component was having a much more pronounced effect on tone and coloration of the sound. Now, this is fine if that's what you want, but the Aquarius doesn't do this. Also, it's got a much deeper base to the Sirius power bar. It's got more guts behind it, it's faster, and it has more attack. What comes across in the Aquarius is that it wants to improve the sound quality of your hi-fi like an amp does. It's forceful in its wish to want to improve your sound in a more faithfully progressive way. Absolutely no loss of dynamics, in fact, the opposite. It's fluid with dynamics, and that's perhaps why Isotech called it the Aquarius. Aquarius is a constellation between Capricorn and Pisces, imagined as a man pouring water. The Aquarius is tremendous for electronic music, and I'm checking out Trent Moller's latest album, A Bit of Bonobo, and The Utopia Strong at the moment, and it's just one of those components in a hi-fi that really helps with this type of music. People often always talk about removal of the edgy treble and a dark blackened background, the inky black background they call it. And I guess what is an inky black background? I kind of get it in some ways, but then I don't. So what this refers to is that when you have no music in a track or little music, you have a background with no noise the noise that is removed by power conditioners. In the case of the Aquarius, you notice this black background, but it's not its main standout trait. And this isn't a criticism, it's just that it's getting on with improving the sound quality of your system in the ways that I've described. Because it gives a benefit at amp type levels, it easily substantiates its worth. At a hi-fi show, I heard the Aquarius against an Isotech Polaris using a exposure amplifier and Larsen 6 speakers and it was doing the same thing. It was improving the sound quality of the system in an amp-like way. Again, more forceful projection of the audio in your hi-fi and no coloration. As far as its value for money, as I say, it's up there doing what amps do and depending upon the amplifier, of course, it's easily more value for money than cable changes. So can I recommend this conditioner? Well, the answer's pretty obvious, absolutely. And it easily achieves the 13th note and comes very recommended. Uh -huh.